Hello folks. In this video, we will learn a few tips and tricks of using our CAD FICO GUI for designing any geometry. So the very first step is to create a new model. So when you open CAD FICO, so this is our FICO interface. There are three um, tabs, the home, documentation, and utilities. Under home, you have CAD FICO and post FICO. CAD FICO is our uh, geometry creation and uh, simulation setting up software and post FICO is the post processing software. Under documentation, you can find user guides and other guides like example guides. Okay, so for any uh, starting any product project, let's start by clicking on CAD FICO. All right, once you get into CAD FICO, you can create a new model. So let me first familiarize yourself with uh, uh, the GUI interface. Here in the home button or the home tab, we have um, the, to start a new file. We are open an existing model and you can save. Here you have options for importing and exporting. Import can be a geometry or a mesh and the geometry can be of uh, different file formats like CATIA v4, v5, or Gerber, Parasolid, step file, any of this if you already have an existing geometry. Similar way, you can export a geometry or a mesh. The very first thing anybody needs to do before we start a simulation setup is to check the units for the simulation. So under model attributes, click on model units. By default, it is in meters. So make sure to change the unit according to the problem at hand. So typically, uh, all the basic shapes that needs to be created are under construct. So if you click on construct, here you will find all the basic shapes. These are three-dimensional shapes, these are two-dimensional shapes, and these are you know, lines and polyline. And then we have some specific shapes such as arcs, parabolic arcs, and uh, spiral, and so on. So say for example, we are going to draw a cuboid. So let's click on cuboid. There are two ways of defining uh, where to start the cuboid or defining the center point. So in this case, um, first definition method is base corner with depth and height for which the center is at the corner. And the other one is base center with depth and height in which your center is at the center of the geometry. So normally I like base center with depth and height because it's kind of symmetrical on all sides. So you can just simply uh, give it a starting point and then give your width, depth, and height. You can also provide a customized label for it and then hit create. So that'll create your geometry like here. The another thing we need to know is say for any geometry, how to assign a dielectric. Right. So under define media, there is a media library where you can find standard dielectric uh, or uh, metallic uh, elements, like for example aluminum, right, or uh, you know maybe chromium. So likewise, or iron, or uh, you know even we have uh, mercury and platinum, plexiglass, polyethylene, polypropylene. Etc. So if you don't like this, uh, I mean, in the sense, if you do not have um, any of these uh, uh, materials in your geometry and you need to define a new one, you can just click on the media and click on dial medium and enter your epsilon r here and tan delta here and then give it a label, right? In case if your uh, material is conductive, then you just click on conductivity and give the value of conductivity here, okay? So uh, that's how you define the dielectrics. Another basic thing is uh, to just move about in the GUI. You can always uh, scroll in using your mouse to zoom in and zoom out, okay? Left click your mouse and you can rotate. And then if you want to select a point, you can always do control shift and if you bring it near the face, all the points on the face will show up. So you can choose one of those points, see like that. Okay, control and shift. 
control plus shift at the same time will help you to choose these points. So in case, uh, say you want to draw a specific line among these points, so let's say, let's try to draw a polygon. Say, for example, I'm gonna click on polygon, control shift, and I want to choose this first point, the second point, third point here, and fourth point, and then hit create. So I created a polygon like this. Another trick you need to know is if you have to duplicate this, uh, you can just do right click and say copy duplicate. That will basically duplicate the same geometry on, on, on its current location. So then you can just move uh, the geometry. Say for example, under transform, there are these options where you can translate, meaning move from one place to another. You can mirror, you can rotate, you can scale, you can align. And you can do all, all sorts of these things here. So let me translate this. So for translation, you need to choose from a point. So here, control shift again, it'll take you to this point. That's where I want. And maybe I want to move uh, along the U direction. So let's move it to one point um, five and one. So that's kind of, it moves about here, and then click okay. So there you go, your second polygon is moved over. See, another trick uh, you may want to know is say if you have these two polygons and you want to create a three-dimensional geometry out of it. So select these two polygons, you can just click on this, polygon one, control, click on polygon one on one, so it selects both. Then under construct, under extend, you can click on loft. So this loft will basically create a three-dimensional shape using these two polygons. So if you hit create, see, there you go. We created a, a three-dimensional shaped uh, structure, uh, you know, from the two polygons uh, we drew. So for any design, if you have multiple parts, you should always remember to unite them. So in this case, let's union these two. So click on these both under construct, modify, click on union. So this will union both of them and generate a single uh, structure. So there is a uh, there is a option called simplify. If you go under uh, transform and then click on this union, there is an option called simplify. So if you click simplify, what it does is uh, it removes all the redundant um, edges in between two geometries. Say, for example, before I simplified, you see that there is, even though I united this, there, it, there is a split here, right, between those two geometry. So now when I simplify it, you can see that it's gone, right? It becomes a single continuous region. So that's something which uh, you should know, which is uh, basically simplify. So, the next thing which we want to know is say if I select this geometry, you can copy and then create a duplicate of it or you can translate and copy it and rotate and copy it. So for example, I'm uh, copying and translating. So let me start from this point and I want to end it here. So how many copies do you want? Say maybe I want three copies, right? So it will create me three copies of this uh, current geometry. So likewise, you can do copy and translate, you know, copy and uh, uh, rotate, copy and mirror. Say for example, I'm copying and mirroring here. So this is by default, so it has mirrored down, right? So likewise, you can do all sorts of manipulation. So with this, uh, we come to a conclusion of this video showing uh, some of the tricks on drawing and uh, using the GUI for creating the geometry. Thank you for watching.